Happy Saturday. It's a beautiful day in Oklahoma. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you've had a great weekend. Did you do anything fun this weekend? Anything interesting or out of the ordinary? Did you? Let me know. I'd like to know. My name is Kim Berner and I am doing a, I'm participating in a 14 day challenge. And part of that is a live Facebook video every day for 14 days. <laughs> this is day six, so yeah. Thank you so much to everybody that's been supporting me and encouraging me. I really, really appreciate it. So today I have a question for you. Have you ever been concerned about getting a spider bite? Like a brown recluse spider bite? <laughs> yeah. Well, some of you already know this, but I had a bite about two years ago. So I'm gonna tell you sh really quick what happened and then give you some tips on what you can do to prevent one and if you get one, how you can deal with it a little bit better. So two years ago, I was, I got up in the morning, was getting dressed, put on a pair of shorts that were laying on a bed. I had worn them one or two days before that and I felt a sting when I pulled them up and of course I panicked because <laughs> you don't expect that. I put my hand on the side of my leg and felt something underneath the material, ripped them off, did a crazy dance. A half dead spider fell out of the shorts and then of course I smashed it. Uh, me and my husband looked at it and we're like, oh wow, we got a good look at it. But it didn't occur to us that it was a brown recluse until later when we Googled it and went, oh my gosh, yeah, that was a brown recluse. So um, I didn't realize anything was seriously wrong for a while. Um, about eight hours later, I started having really significant pain in my leg. At that point, I was having dinner. My husband and I were having dinner with my daughter and her husband. And I was having a very difficult time sitting at the table. Um, it felt like someone was tightening a tourniquet on my leg. So it just kept getting tighter and tighter and hurting and I didn't know what was going on. So I couldn't get comfortable sitting. I finally started standing, still couldn't get comfortable. I said, okay, I gotta go. I don't know what's going on, but this is not okay. So we ended up uh, planning to go to urgent care. Of course, you know how that goes. They closed like 10 minutes before that. So I went home. Um, I didn't wanna go to emergency room, but I was in a lot of pain. So in the night, I tell you, I came this close to going to the emergency room because I just wanted some relief because it really, really was hurting. So um, I didn't do it, but I was there first thing in the morning at the urgent care. And the interesting thing was, uh, the lady that checked us in, the nurse, said she had had a spider bite six months before. There was another couple in there, the only other people in the in there, and the woman had gotten a spider bite. So everybody in there either had a spider bite, was with someone with a spider bite, or had one six months ago. So we are in Oklahoma. It's, you know, really warm here. So um, that, I ended up getting antibiotics and a steroid shot and I got some relief from the pain. I think the steroid shot helped a lot. Um, I really didn't wanna do either one of those, but I was pretty desperate and I was in, I was in some pain, so I needed, I needed help. And I still didn't understand what was happening exactly, but um, finally figured out, you know, it's venom. And what does venom do? You know, what is it, what's it doing in your flesh? It's not good. So first of all, don't be afraid. I don't wanna scare you. Most people that get a bite, it heals up in a week or two two or three weeks and you're fine, no big deal. So don't panic, I don't want you to be afraid. This is rare, what happened to me was rare. So I'm not trying to make you be fearful. I just wanna help prepare people because I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask me about this, so I just wanna help. And I wanna prevent you from having an experience like that. So um, one of the things you can do to prevent that is never put on shoes or clothes without shaking them first. If I had taken a few seconds to shake my clothes a little bit, the spider would have come running out because they're really fast. And if you disturb them, they're gonna come running out. They don't wanna be there. Um, but I didn't, because I didn't know, didn't think of it. So I got the antibiotics, got the steroid shot at urgent care. Um, uh, I think a week later, two weeks later, I went to a doctor and to make sure I didn't need more antibiotics because the only thing worse than having a significant bite would be to have an infection on top of that. And I've heard of that, it sounds quite horrible. So you don't want that. So I ended up having uh, five months of wound care from a family member that happens to be a 
wound care nurse, so she was fantastic, a lifesaver. <laughs> I appreciated her so much. So one of the biggest things I learned from this experience is if you have a significant spider bite that has a significant wound that develops later, um, do not go to the plastic surgeon, <laughs> go find a wound care facility, because that's what they do every day is help people with wounds just like these. So they will know what to do, they will know what medical supplies to give you, and that is just the best way to do it. So, my tips for not getting a spider bite. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do now is to buy sticky traps, the ones that catch the mice or the spiders. I put them on the base around the baseboards of my house, hoping to catch some spiders so that they are caught in the trap and not in my shorts or in my clothes or in my shoes because we don't want that. It's not good. Get rid of clutter. If you have boxes and things, you know, they have those are great places for the spiders to hide. You don't want that. Don't leave your clothes on the floor. I think you understand why. Um, they like to hide in dark places, boxes, sheds, attics. So be careful opening boxes. If you're getting stuff out of storage, wear gloves, maybe long sleeve shirt. Um, they eat other bugs, that's their food. So spiders, cockroaches, ants, those kind of things. You wanna make sure you get rid of the food supply in your house. So kill all those, get rid of them. Then the spiders have nothing to eat and hopefully they will go somewhere else. So if you get a spider bite, which is probably not gonna be a big deal, don't panic, don't panic, it's gonna be okay. You'll get through it. <laughs> but most likely it will heal up on its own and you don't have to worry about it. But if you do, don't be afraid to get the antibiotics, make sure you don't get an infection and see if you can find a wound care facility. Ask your doctor to send you to a wound care facility and that's, that's the biggest thing I learned was you've got to have the proper supplies. I needed uh, proper bandages. You can't just go to the Walgreens or something and get bandages. Those are not going to work because you're going to have to be dealing with this every day. So those are my tips for avoiding them. And if you uh, do develop a significant wound, do not touch it. Just wash where it's been, where you've been bitten with soap and water. Um, as the weeks go by, if you develop a wound or a blister, do not touch it. Do not pick at it. Don't mess with it. Your body knows what to do. Just let it be. Let it do its thing. <laughs> so those are my tips and that's my story. And oh, so, oh some people have asked about um, bentonite clay or a charcoal paste. To put on it and I would recommend doing that if you do it really quick right after you get the bite you may be able to pull the venom out don't rely on that 100% because well there there's no antidote which I find amazing we can do brain surgery we can do heart surgery but there's no antidote for uh, brown recluse venom so you're being treated to keep an infection down keep the inflammation down the venom does its thing your body knows what to do and will heal but if it's a, a serious wound, you'll need somebody that's professional that can give you the proper supplies, the proper bandages, the proper everything. And there's a lot, trust me. <laughs> that's a whole nother video. So I won't bore you with that. But anyway, so that's all I have time for today. And I hope that was helpful. Um, remember, the most important thing is it's very rare to get a bite that's significant. So I hope this was helpful and I'm going to compile a list of my tips and a few links to help you with supplies if you need them. So if you would like that, just reach out to me in uh, Facebook Messenger and I will get that to you. So have a great evening. Bye-bye.